All parties in the matter of Wentland versus Buck. Step forward. Leah Wentland is suing her former friend, Melissa Buck, for unpaid personal loans and the return or value of lawn care equipment. Ms. Wedlanka, you claim a series of loans to the defendant who was a friend of yours. And the loans go back, according to you, to 2015, which is quite some time ago. Defendant says that this is really not about any money, that there were never really any loans, there was some sort of loose business arrangement with regard to the lawn equipment, and that the reason that you are suing her at this point is because you wanted a different kind of relationship with her, and she rejected that. That's your defense. Yes. Tell me when and why you loaned her money the first time. The first time I loaned her money was for her truck. And the reason I loaned the money was back in January of 2015, my ex right now, she broke both her ankles at work. So her truck was at work, and I needed help getting her truck. So I asked Miss Buck to come and assist me, and she agreed to do that during her lunch break at work. So I picked her up at work, took her to where the truck was. She drove the truck to the house, and I took her back. Well, the time exceeded her lunch break. And then the very next day, she was fired from her job, and she went six months without a job. So I felt that I was somewhat obligated to help her out. So when I uh, loaned her the money, the agreement was she was going to go pay off the title loan, and then she would go and bring me the title. And I would have the title until it was paid off. But I never received the title, and I found out on Facebook that she turned around and turned that vehicle in at CarMax, which was her place of employment, and bought a new vehicle. How much money in 2015 did you give her? $5,000. Show me. I have right here uh, my bank statement, which shows the original $3,400, which was the title loan. And then she asked me for additional money, which I have uh, some of my ATM. Just a second. Yes. You have proof that you gave, that you gave her $3,400? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'd like to see the proof that you gave her $3,400. On the second page, there is a withdrawal for $3,400. I also have numerous texts. All I see is money withdrawn. I don't see a check made out to her. I don't see a... Ma'am, I have texts. I have numerous texts throughout a course of almost a year of texts where she admits that she knows she owes me the money and she agrees to pay for the money. What is the date on that text? I have text from May 13th. Of what year? Of 2016. I would like to see something from 2015 where she acknowledges that you gave her $3,400. I do not have anything in 2015. Other than when she traded in a truck, she gave me the key to the new truck because she did not have a title to give me. So since she didn't have the title, she gave me this. <coughs> this was supposed to be her <coughs> promise on her word. Did she give you $3,400? No, ma'am. In 2015? No, ma'am. You have to be smarter. You work? Yes, ma'am, I do. If you're giving somebody, especially somebody that you've known less than a year, thousands of dollars, it would seem to me that that would be memorialized in some other way I than just a withdrawal from a bank statement. 